Many of us have been struggling with loneliness or feeling disconnected from our friends and family during our stay-at-home order. Sasha caught up with the author of a nationally best-selling book called Get in a Good Mood and Stay There, which discusses how to handle loneliness during COVID-19. So you have a international best-selling book uh, called Get in a Good Mood and Stay There. What inspired you to write it? Well, honestly, I was making dinner one evening and I was stirring a pot on the stove mindlessly, kind of, you know, entranced by everything that had happened during the day, not really paying attention, completely on autopilot. And my baby at the time was sitting on the floor and she had a little bowl and spoon she was playing with. And she picked it up and she started stirring in her bowl, just like I was doing it. And she looked up at me with these big eyes as if to say, look, I'm just like mommy. And at first I was so proud and excited because it was the first time she ever did anything mimicking her mom. But then I just had this wave of nausea hit me because I realized my daughter was copying everything that I was doing. And I was teaching her how to live a very lonely and a very depressed and unhappy life. And I knew at that point that my purpose had to become becoming happy and fulfilled so I could teach my daughter how to do those things. Yeah. And that's what started me on this path and then eventually writing the book. You know, how did you, I guess, figure out the steps that worked best for you and I mean, compelled you to share those thoughts and ideas into a book and with others? Yeah, so it was kind of a long haul for me. I had gone through a couple of depressive episodes in my life, so I knew what wasn't working. And I just sort of set out to find people who had gone through the same journey and who had had success with it. And I started trying to incorporate as many of their practices in as I could to see what worked and what didn't. And I found a number of things definitely helped. Meditation definitely helped me. So I meditate every day. It's just a non-negotiable part of my day. It helps me through times like this. It helps me through just daily stress. And I also try to do a gratitude practice once a day, usually early in the morning, just to sit down and find the good in everything. You can find it if you really look for it. I have found that much. But as I try, as I continue to do these things and really made myself disciplined about doing them, I realized that they were working. And so I started sharing some of these ideas with people. And uh, at first everyone thought I was a little bit crazy, but then as they tried it and they saw the success I was having with it, they kept at it. And so I've just added on as time went on things that have helped me and helped others and put them all together in a place where everyone can read it and see what works for them. Nice. And I guess we're living in very interesting times right now. Yeah. Um, very difficult times, especially for families that are large or, you know, if you're by yourself, regardless, trying to relax, trying to handle your depression, uh, whether it's if you lost your job or if you're trying to figure out your new life, you know, what can people do? What are some just quick things that you would suggest for them to do to relieve all that, you know, negative energy they're holding? Yes. Well, there's a lot of uncertainty right now, and that's a really difficult place for us to be as human beings. We like to have things concrete, and we like to know where we're headed and what we're doing. So in order to get through that time, I would say the best thing you can do is try to remain in the present moment, which is easier said than done. But if you constantly are having anxiety about the future, that's not going to help you. You're worrying about something that you can't even control. Try to come back to the present moment and again, go to gratitude. It's a great way to switch you off sort of a negative mindset into a more positive mindset. And, and you can find something good about your current situation. If you're safe, if you're healthy, if your family is healthy, even if you had a really good meal today, something that you can just be grateful for. It will always bring you back to the present moment and make you realize that there are positive things still in the world right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Well, thank you so much. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add? I would say that I understand that these times can be lonely and anxious for a lot of people. And I have been there, but I know that with daily practice, such as gratitude and meditation and some other things in my book, that you can come out of that darkness and you can come into the light of a very happy and fulfilled life, even during times like this. And I mean, if people really want to dive into your book they can order it still and it's on amazon correct 
Yes, it's on Amazon. They can also find it on my website. And yes, utilize technology for the good. FaceTime or any kind of technology like we're doing right now. Even if you just get on the phone and have a really good connected conversation with somebody, it will help make you feel like you're still part of everything and that you have someone to go to if you need a little help. Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Danny. This is such good information and I'm excited to dive into your book because I think I, would, I need that right now. <laughs> Thanks, Sasha.